This is a photograph of a barn that we took with a digital camera and wanted to convert it to a mosaic pattern. The photo was brought into Photoshop and there's a three-step process that helps highlight the edges of the photograph as you see here. This was then traced onto paper and that's how our pattern was made. We used the photo as reference. This is the material we use as a substrate from Mosaic Projects. It's aluminum with a center core of plastic, so it's 100% waterproof, can be used outdoors. Very rigid, uh, white on one side, and that would be the side that you transpose your pattern onto. It's three millimeters thick, accommodates the zinc framing quite well. We get it in four by eight sheets and can easily be cut on a table saw. Here you see the pattern being traced onto the substrate with the use of carbon paper. A thin sheet of adhesive is then placed over the top of the drawing on the substrate and tacked in place with the use of a craft glue stick. Each piece of cut glass is then placed on the glue surface based on its location according to the pattern. After all cut pieces are in place, a heat gun is used to melt the glue and adhere each piece of glass to the substrate. Once the heat has been applied and the cut pieces of glass are adhered to the surface of the substrate, wait a significant amount of time and allow the overall piece to cool to room temperature. Then gently tilt the piece up to ensure that all the cut pieces of glass have securely fastened to the substrate. At this point it's not uncommon that some of the pieces may fall loose. Small pieces of the adhesive can be cut with scissors and reheated with the heat gun to secure the loose pieces back in place. In this case we've decided to use two different colors of grout. We'll be using white for the sky and gray where the barn and the ground is. We've therefore masked off the area between the barn and the sky. We begin by applying the white grout making certain that the gaps between the glass are completely filled with grout. After all the white grout has been applied, the excess is removed and we move on to the black. The black is applied and likewise the excess is removed. We follow by cleaning the entire piece with a damp sponge. In cases where you've used two colors of grout, it may be necessary to go back and touch up either color of grout where necessary. 